Hello everyone. It is Tia from Urban Karma. Um, so today I just want to show you how to make um, a paper towel flower. So I did a video a while ago using um, some glimmer mist and I use a paper towel to blot off the extra and I said you know you can use the paper towels for something else so I'm going to show you real quick how to do it. Um, so these are just some paper towels that I've used doing some glimmer mist and no <laughs> that's my little girl she's just hanging out with me today so um, I am going to use this one here and it's a little bit too wide for me, so I'm just going to cut it in half. All right, and then you just need to get a backing. So I usually use scrap paper, scrap, um, scrap of paper, or even, you know, the backs of just little things that, that you buy from for scrapbooking supplies. I don't know what you call them. Anywho, so you have your strip of paper towel, and I just tie a knot at the bottom. It kind of makes for a good middle piece as you start to glue around it. I try to bring the knot all the way down um, to the end of the paper towel, and then you rip it, and then that's really great. So let's just use this one. And I like to use the least end that has the less uh, amount of glimmer mist on it. So I'll use this one. And don't pull too hard or it will break. And then that's pooey. Okay. All right. So here's my little piece. This one actually just came off of a little uh, spool of ribbon that I had. And I just ripped the bottom of it off. Great. So then I'm just going to put a little bit, I like to use hot glue. I love hot glue. It is just wonderful. And then I place that guy right in the middle. And all you do from here is twist and glue down. Twist and glue down. So we're going to do that all the way around. Do, 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 do. Just twist and glue. Twist and glue. I mean, it is like ridiculously easy. And if you use Glimmer Mist, you know just how beautiful the colors are. And then you soak up the extra stuff on paper towels. And you think, man, I have just wasted all of this product soaking it up on these paper towels. Well, now you have a way to use them. You don't have to waste it. All right, so you just keep coming around. We're going to go right up and over this guy here. You just keep coming around. When you get to the end, all you're going to do is tuck it under. So you just shove your finger under there. And yeah, it's hot glue, but it's really not that hot after a couple seconds. Um, so then there you go. There you have your little paper flower. Can you go and see it? A little... Ugh. Gross, look at that nail polish. It's horrible, sorry. Um, and then with the extra backing that you have, you're just gonna trim. And just try to trim as far, um, or I guess as close as you can to the bottom of the flower. You see that? As we trim under there. Um, just so that you don't see it underneath. And then, um, then you're just totally ready to add it to whatever you want. And you can even add little embellishments to the middle of it. Um, and there's the backing. You just boop, put it on there. So they are so easy. And then you have all this beautiful paper towel that you can use to make flowers with. So real quick, I will show you a couple things that I've, on this layout, I just use my scrap paper towels there and I put a flower here and I also put a flower there. It's my little girl Karma. 
All right, and I'm going to move this camera and show you a couple of the other ones that I've put up too. So up here is one. Don't really get very good lighting with it. Oh, there we go. Um, and this darker one underneath is actually a dryer sheet, a used dryer sheet. And I just sprayed that with some glimmer mist and let it dry and just kind of tucked it under there and floofed it out to how I liked it. And then over here, I did a couple, I, I did the letter V for Valentine. Um, and then here's a couple other flowers right here. So there's one and I put a gem inside and some stick pins. And then there's this big one here with a very large gem in the middle of it.